racing countdown engines on. Check ignition and may God's love be Could you start by introducing yourselves? Well, I am Buzz Wilson, and I am taking this trip to represent the 30th anniversary of Man on the Moon. And I, and I'm Interplanet Janet, a galaxy girl. She's a galaxy girl. Every planet in the solar system. Well, how do you know that? I read it from a book. Why are you taking this mission? To read for the stars. What do you mean, read for the stars? Books take you infinity and beyond. What are you bringing on this mission? Books, of course. We're, We're off, off to read, read for the stars. Houston, we're ready for liftoff. And taunt. North. I. Two. One. Blast off! <laughs> I wish all the things were as organized as the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> okay, Buzz, are you ready to read for the stars? Yep, and it looks like there's a lot of them. We have to read ten books to the stars, and then we get a prize. Here, I'll read this one to you. Oh no, Buzz, my book's going to be overdue tomorrow. Janet, you have to keep track of your books. Sorry, I like it so much. Houston, we have a problem. Copy that. What's the problem? Janet's book will be overdue tomorrow. Well, to get back on time, you'll have to go through the galaxy of overdue finds. Okay, I'll try to... Now I'm not going to read my ten books to the stars. You don't have... Buzz, you don't have to read books to the stars. Well, it says read for the stars. That's just a metaphor. Well, how do you know what a metaphor is? Because I read it from a book. Here we go to the overdue book, the galaxy of overdue books. Uh. Now let's return these books. Yeah. Oh no! It's Sunday. Our 